All right, they're telling us one condition isn't enough here, so we'll be putting in multiple. Um, when we have these really complex, use all different things problems, we just need to go one at a time. So, break banana. All right, so we're gonna add code for the goat only to hit frozen bananas. When they give us these unnecessary say lines, that's a hint that we are filling in that space with different code related to something in what it's saying. So in this case, it's saying, say, frozen. So what that means is our if statement, or the clue is our if statement for frozen goes there. Um, and you can see, they also put in the directions, add code for the goat to hit only frozen bananas. So they've given you two, clo two clues. So if, now break banana, we're using X. So if X is frozen, so we have here turtles go to X. Yeah, turtle zero. Oh, I got to pay attention to that. So I'm guessing this is turtle zero. What? No. Now, the other thing is clearly we need to fix the indenting. So I'm going to get that indented correctly. So if it's frozen, turtle zero go to it. If X is frozen. Okay. Now, once the turtle goes, the goat needs to hit it. And I sometimes, I don't know why, but I put my variables after hit and it doesn't need to be there. Hopefully you don't. All right, so now under, let's take a look at eating the banana. So add the code for the goat to eat the green bananas and we're using Y. So again, not say green. Um, and we can use an if else here, because you can see they want us to use a, um, yeah, so, and the monkey to eat the yellow ones. Say yellow, but that's like our else, and then the turtle go to Y, yeah. So this is gonna be an if else. Um, and I'm not gonna use the button, I'm just gonna type it. And we're using Y. And so if Y is green, turtle go to Y, needs to be indented. Now I'm gonna put my, here is gonna be, I'm replacing the yellow for my else. And turtle one go to Y. What? I put a space, not a tab, hang on. Now I gotta get this fixed. There we go. So if Y is green, turtle zero goes to Y. Otherwise, turtle one goes to Y. Now for B and bananas, um, so we've defined all these functions, break banana, eat banana. Um, now, we're gonna break banana B and we're gonna eat banana B. So we'll call for each one. It will see if it's frozen, which is break banana. If it is, it'll do it. If it isn't, it'll skip to eat banana. For eat, we're sending one of them to eat always. Um, so we've broken it down into three parts, defining some functions with conditions, and then using our for loop. All right, let's see how it looks. <laughs>